Hey everyone, Rick at Word Search. I want to take a few minutes and walk you through our newly redesigned toolbar. To start off, we have three new tabs available for you to view. The Home tab contains our latest news and quick access to training, video tutorials, and other information. The Study tab is where you'll be reading your books and your Bibles and doing all of your biblical study. And the Library tab. The Library tab replaces the resource panel that was available in previous versions of Word Search and QuickVerse. Please check out the Library tab video for more information. Now, beneath those tabs lies our icon bar where you'll have quick access to most of the features in Word Search 11. The first icon is our Open button. To quickly access a book without visiting the Library tab, click on the Open button. Then type in part of your book title or an author's name to find the books available to you. Our next two icons relate to our concordance search. The concordance search allows you to search for a word or multiple words in your books, Bible translations, and documents. The search results button will bring up the results from your last concordance search. The 316 icon is for our verse explorer. The verse explorer will give you a guided keyword study of any verse. It will guide you through an English word study, an original language word study, and a topical word study. It will then confirm what you have learned in those studies through your commentaries and your cross-references. The next two icons represent two other searches in Word Search 11. The topical search will search through your books for topics that have been tagged, allowing you to study topically in any type of book. And the cross-reference explorer will search for any book, chapter, verse reference in your books and documents. The notes function is just like writing notes in the margin of your Bible. As you create notes, the program will signify that there are notes available by placing a notes icon in the text, which is universal across all translations. As well, you can create multiple notebooks to help you divide up your notes, and all of your Bible notebooks are searchable. The lightning bolt icon represents our instant verse study. When used, the instant verse study, or IVS, will collect information from Bible translations, Bible notebooks, and books that are organized by book chapter verse reference, and allow you to paste that information wherever you desire, whether in an email to share with a friend, or a word processing document to print out to study while away from the computer. The next icon is the verse list. The verse list allows the user to list, organize, and create notes while grouping and organizing verses together. The verse list can be used for anything as simple as creating a list of verses you want to memorize to something as complicated as creating a sermon. The next feature on our icon menu is the word processor. The word processor allows you to type in your own information into word search, and that information becomes fully searchable as part of the concordance search and as part of the cross reference explorer. The next icon on our menu is a dual icon. You can change which icon you are looking at by using the down arrow. The Sermons and Illustrations database is a great place to organize and store your sermons and illustrations. The Sermons and Illustrations you enter can be found topically, by verses used, or by title. The Note Stack feature is a brand new way to collect information from your books. The Note Stack feature allows you as you read through your books to create notes or note cards. Note cards can be topically organized and searched. You can also group cards together into a stack of cards. So if you are writing a sermon or a paper, you can find all the cards that fit your topic and group them together into a stack. When you finish your paper or sermon, the stack can be deleted, but the cards will remain available to you for your next project. Our next icons are our back and forward buttons, which can be used to cycle through your history in a book. The next three icons are quick access buttons. You can quickly access your favorite Bible translation, your parallel Bible, or your favorite commentary. To set your favorite Bible or commentary, simply click on the down arrow and choose your favorite from the list. The next feature is Lesson Maker. Lesson Maker helps you create Bible studies and small group lessons while compiling information from many different sources. The web browser is the next icon, giving you quick and easy access to unlimited information on the internet. The next icon is the Greek Morph Explorer. With the Greek Morph Explorer, you can search and find all scriptures that include your Greek root word. Then you can narrow down which verses you see by gender, mood, tense, etc. The Greek Morph Explorer requires specific books to work. If your icon is grayed out, it means you do not have the required books. We then have the Arrange icon, which allows you to choose the initial arrangement of your windows, either horizontal or vertical. Next is the Desktops icon, which will allow you to create, load, and delete your desktops and templates. If your computer is connected to dual monitors, your next icon will be the display icon. When you click on the display icon, it will open up a second display area for you to drag and drop your books into for study. The last icon is the smallgroup.com icon. 
Clicking on the icon will open up your web browser to smallgroup.com. Word Search users get two weeks free to try it out. As part of Word Search 11, you can customize your toolbar in the Settings area under the Options drop-down menu. With your Settings menu opened, you can click on the Toolbar option on the left and uncheck any icons you no longer need on the toolbar. To bring them back later, just add the check mark back. Looking to learn more about Word Search 11 and its features? Feel free to join us for our free live training classes. You can find a list of the classes currently available from the Home tab by clicking on the free live online training or by going to the training tab at wordsearchbible.com. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.